Hello, that's it with the multi emperor report. In este informe, hablo en español primero y después en inglés. Una lenguaje que conozco o oh, algo así. Entonces, aquí hay una tormenta tropical enorme en el momento, pero pronto está, estará una depresión tropical. Tormenta tropical Dorian. Eh, mira el pronóstico. El pronóstico baja, 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 baja. Eh, eh, por aquí en el 36 hora, sí, esta tormenta convertirse en un sistema post-tropical, sí, y aquí ha disipado, sí. En el momento no hay ningún peligro afectando tierra, no hay avisos o vi vigilancia, sí. Esta tormenta es debilitándose, está debilitándose, sí, algo así. Y aquí, aquí, por aquí, en el Atlántico hay una zona de probabilidad, pero esa es muy baja, 20%, y esta zona está moviendo hacia aguas fríos, aguas fríos, algo así, y es no muy probable que esta zona convertirse en un ciclón tropical, sí, 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 sí. Y aquí hay una tormenta tropical, tormenta tropical, Flasi. El o el NHC ha emitido la advertencia última, la última advertencia y se passing the rains. Uh, ah, ah, el CPHC, Central Pacífico Recan Center. Sí, no sé qué. Uh, sí, sí. Eh, no sé nada de nada en español. Esta tormenta, eh, se prevé que esta tormenta toca tierra en Hawaii. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, sí. Sometimes it's falling off the rails here. Let's just convert back to English. So what I'm trying to say, I don't know how to say pass the reins in Spanish, apparently. But this is the final advisory from the NHC. It is, the next one is going to be per the CPHC, which is Central Pacific Hurricane Center, if you happen to, you know, see this text down there. So, and hopefully this site will continue to work, but I need to make sure of that to make sure that the advisories... And by the site, I mean this site. You know, the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. If you go there directly, it'll be just fine. So, yes. Back with Dorian, where we're talking... Oh, let's just talk about this one real quick. 20% chance this thing is supposed to be moving to colder waters quite shortly, like in the next day or so, where, you know, once it doesn't have the sea surface temperatures that it needs to generate anything. So this probably is not going to turn into anything at all. So this thing, which was originally predicted, I believe, to be a tropical storm, as of about now, or not now, but as of about there, where it would be there on the map or so, is now they're predicting not only that it's going to convert, uh, weaken down to a tropical depression, but that it's then going to go post-tropical and then just dissipate as of the 96th hour mark. So, no land hazards at the moment and no watches or advisories, and quite possibly there won't be any at all, because it might be weak enough that they won't issue any tropical storm or tropical depression-related type advisories at all on this thing. But yes, I'm sure it still could possibly bring some rain, so obviously if you're in that area, pay attention. I don't know, So Yes, that is what is going on. Oh, with the exception of this thing over in the Northwest Pacific, which was about here or so, it was a medium chance yesterday, Apparently that zone has completely dissipated, so there is no threat with that one. So yes, Flossie is now the big thing, and especially since it's predicted to hit Hawaii, whereas like all of... I think most of them tend to weaken a lot, because I, gen I think generally the sea surface temperatures out in Hawaii are not very conducive to tropical storms continuing to move on or whatnot. Yes, so... That is what is going on. Let's talk about severe thunderstorm weather in the U.S. Got a couple of massive scale discussions, in fact. 
Got this thing for severe thunderstorm potential increasing through late afternoon. Watch possible on this one, 40%. And then this one is watch unlikely, 5%. A limited wind slash hail threat this afternoon for this area. Uh, they're about here. But no watches, no, well, not a whole lot of warnings. No watches in effect as of the time I checked. And then in general today, what we're looking at is the wind map showing the probability of winds, 58 miles per hour greater. So you got your 15%. Got quite a bit of country affected by this 5%. But again, it's the 5%. So that's, uh, I don't know. You should pay attention, of course, to that. But it's not all that high in the grand scheme of things. Hail-wise, this is the map showing the probability of one inch or larger hail. So again, where there's the highest threat of the wind today is also where there's the highest threat of the one inch or larger hail. And then just a tiny-ish area back there. And then tornado-wise, again, with the less than 2% all areas, that does not mean that a tornado can't happen. It just means that it's not all that likely today. And then tomorrow, drop down to a 5%, but I think that's what they said about today's forecast as of yesterday. So, meaning that this map that shows these 5% areas, possibly there could be a 15%, you know, area in there as of tomorrow. That's why you pay attention. But no major things on the, uh, what, on the, on the horizon. No, or at least not predicted as of the moment. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. WikiWix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. And I have a feeling that Cyclocane is going to look like this. Oh, no, the opera do See, you know, this is why you should never run a browser that's very, what, new? It's, it's very, yeah, in beta. In alpha, even. I don't even know. Anyway, cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-L-C-A-N-E.com. Let's turn on all the satellite layers. Hey, let's see if we can get the thing to crash again. So there you go. Let's turn off the east. There we go. There is Dorian. And there is Flossie. There lies Flossie. Anyway, that is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.